was November 8, 2013. A blissful morning in the Philippines where people were still sleeping soundly in the warmth of their own homes. As the clock struck 4.30 a.m., it was supposed to be another peaceful daybreak in the eastern part of Samar Islands. Yet, this is the day when a calamity of colossal magnitudes tore through the heart of the Philippines. On that day, Typhoon Yolanda affected an estimated 14 million people and undermined billions of pesos worth of resources, becoming the costliest and deadliest typhoon in modern memory. The Asia-Pacific region is, unfortunately, blessed with having 10 of the 15 most disaster-prone countries in the world. Floods, typhoons, tsunamis, and earthquakes have also become more frequent over the years thanks to rapid urbanization, causing an unprecedented amount of pollution to the environment. To combat this, a solution is desperately needed. According to the International Hydropower Association, or IHA, the Pump Storage Hydropower, or PSH, system is especially ideal for electricity grids that rely on solar and wind energy. Not only is it versatile and flexible, but it also has a 9,000 gigawatt hour capacity. Now envision this, 1 gigawatt hour alone is capable of powering roughly 700,000 households for an entire year. The IHA even estimated that this capacity may well increase by 50% within the next decade. However, Southeast Asian countries like Malaysia and the Philippines are simply finding the required time and monetary investment a steep step to climb, not to mention the potential ecological damages due to water displacement. For investments to be made, they need to provide a good return. Speaking of which, Flow batteries have a track record as the cleanest form of energy storage. They have excellent flexibility, green energy production, as well as a decently long lifespan. Combining these two systems, a hybrid pump hydropower flow battery storage, or PHFBS system for short, could be a game changer as the two systems complement each other with their distinct characteristics. This microgrid system integrates solar panels and wind turbines as sustainable energy producers, while the hydropower system uses gravity from water transportation to emit the energy to the central control system. By integrating flow batteries, this hybrid system receives an advantage due to the former's adjustable power output. Hydro storage systems are the most popular long-duration energy storage, while flow batteries are exceptional for short-term applications. In times of fluctuations or crisis, the adaptable nature of flow batteries enables hasty responses to potential complications and either of them could continue to operate in the case that the other needs to be repaired or maintained. The PHFBS system strikes a perfect balance between sustainability and long-term viability as rural communities are increasingly in need of renewable energy sources. By working step by step, Small-scale microgrid infrastructures may have a huge impact on rural communities. The ripple effect from building these will be significant, as they can easily navigate environmental changes and stay resilient in harsh conditions. Likewise, butterflies are adaptable, being able to transition from a vulnerable caterpillar to a beautiful creature. Just as bat butterflies transform, community efforts must also be made to transform the energy landscape of the poverty-ridden area so they also enjoy the simple luxuries of having clean and sustainable energy. Thanks for watching. It would be amazing if you take the time to like and share this video with your family and friends as well.